stay to the left to Queen's Highway. Then stay to the left to Queen Mary Seaport. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. And where are we? <laughs> at the boat. We're at the, the boat. boat. We're here at the Queen Mary in Long Beach. It's a lovely sunny day. Brenda doesn't have school today, so we came down to Long Beach to go on to the Queen Mary. And I haven't been here since, I don't know when, I was a kid maybe. I was here about 10 years ago. A friend of mine came out to LA um, on a business trip. So she, she was down here in the Long Beach area. So we uh, came and visited the Queen Mary. It was really cool. But yeah, it's been a long time since we've been here. So this should be fun. There's a submarine. <laughs> Let's take a look. What is this? It's a little more dorky. <laughs> It's a rusty old submarine. Wow. Yeah. What is this from, dude? What do you think? Hey, don't touch. Uh, don't touch here. Yeah, don't touch there. A Russian scorpion. Welcome to the pass I gave you and the white pass. Okay. Thank you so much. That used to be the Spruce Goose, which was Howard Hughes' gigantic wooden plane. What? Dome? Yeah, the Spruce Goose used to be in it, and you can buy oh. tickets to go see that as well. But, but it's not there anymore? I don't know. I think some, some collector bought it, and they tore it down and moved it wherever that person was. Oh. Denying the public oh, chance yeah. to see the Spruce Goose. I look the water down there. What do you see? Water. Water. Part of the admission is some 4D movie, which I guess is a 3D movie with an additional dimension. No, it's supposed <laughs> to have like the seats move and I guess there's quote unquote scents or smells or mist or like something. Like smell-o-vision? Yeah, something like that. I think that's what it said on the little description online. So I have no idea. There's a SpongeBob one and there's one shallow tides or something. I think we'll be doing shallow yeah, tides. Yeah, I think with this one, he's definitely gonna be more interested in that. He's the only one that would theoretically be interested in SpongeBob, and I don't think he's really interested in SpongeBob no. anyway, so. so we, will, we will see how <laughs> this fourth dimension plays out. Oh, there's a food truck. The White Star Line, I think that's what the Titanic was. Wasn't the Titanic a White Star thing too? Yes, it was. I guess this one had a better, uh, better record. <laughs> We are actually entering the ship now. Why is it always that, like, when you have pictures, uh -huh. like old tiny pictures, they always look ghostly? I don't know if it's that preconceived oh. notion that, oh, that they're dead already, or because it's so poorly photographed, or because we've seen so many pictures like that in horror films. Oh, yeah. They just, just look, it yeah. Just looks Ghostly. Yeah, it looks so behind me is the actual Queen Mary that the ship is named after. I believe she's the current Queen Elizabeth's grandmother, if my British history is up to date. Put your glasses. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> 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 I just got wet. Oh goodness, so many bubbles. You can tell, yeah, the seats are all wet and there's like bubble soap and wetness on the seats. Or a bubble popped, I just realized that was Brendan's first movie. He's never seen a movie in a movie theater before. Really? Yeah. Has he? I don't think so. No. He's, he's seen movies on TV but never in the theater. That was your first movie in a movie theater, buddy. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> So we just saw a really cool 4D show. You had 3D glasses on and then there would be like a dolphin would splash into the water and, and real water would come up and splash you in the face. Or there'd be a school of fish swimming along and, and real bubbles would come out from the sides of the theater and you'd be surrounded by bubbles while you were watching these um, fish swimming in their own bubbles in the ocean. The seats and the floor would vibrate and you're just getting wet and you were getting bubbles and it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. This is the engine room. <laughs> Even after all these years, it still smells, you can still smell that greasy, musty smell that like. The engine-y smell. Yeah. Yeah, it smells like a, a car, like when you lift the hood up. <laughs> yeah. Look right there. Yeah, it's a box with little switches. Yeah, yeah it, 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 they make them go. Mm-hmm. This room is what makes the ship go. Look at that green light over there. Yeah. I don't know what that is. 
Well, it's a first intermediate pressure turbine. Obviously, what else would it be? <laughs> it's the speed thing. <laughs> I think that's a scientific term for it, too. Show everybody what the dials do, or what the wheels do. <laughs> They indeed do. Do they get dizzy like you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that green light up there. That's a trapper light. There's a trapper light up there. A trapper <laughs> light? What is a trapper light? I think light? it's a light that's trapped inside of the little oh. metal casing or whatever that is, the little cage. They have a lot of wheels and light. Yes, they do, bud. It smells musty down here. I know. Yeah, yeah, this doesn't look good. Yeah. yeah. Apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it's all chipped. Yeah. Oh gosh, it got totally like jacked in some places. Yeah. It's crazy. You're crazy. So it's super creepy down here and uh, it smells super musty. <laughs> it's all rusty down there. There's even like puddles of water down there. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. Because that stuff's all cleaned up for like the tour and this part they just kind of let go. <laughs> Listen. Here's something. It's so musty. It smells like just like the oldest mildewiest basement down here. It's a little bit creepy. It's starting to feel like a horror movie. It's all mildewy and yeah. smelly and quiet. And you're like, oh, we're going off in the wrong area. Yeah. <laughs> the escalator. It is not operating though, so you have to run up. So if you're being chased by a ghost or whatever, you have to run up the escalator. The first one had four bunks, right? Yeah. This one has two. Yeah, it was like two bunk beds. This one has right. a bed. And it's also really, really dark. Like an old TV show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we can walk along, there's like this deck here. Ooh, we're outside. It's really bright out here. There's the lifeboats up here, suspended above. So you can come out here, you can sit at a table, eat your lunch, while out on the open sea, or in this case, a parking lot. Brendan, look. Look how big that is. Is this shuffleboard or something? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I thought I saw on the thing there was like a shuffleboard deck. And again, here's the lifeboats. So anybody who's seen Titanic kind of has an idea of going on there. Oh, great! We got a souvenir. So I don't know how well it's coming through, but that white blur in the sky there is not clouds, it is a mountain. Um, sometimes the mountains can actually be seen through all the smog and pollution on the, on the horizon. We should go over there, which is the, either the front or the back of the ship. I believe the correct term is the bow or the stern. The aft? Right? The aft. I don't know. The aft is one side, right? Well, there's starboard, starboard and port. port. Port is left. Port is left. Starboard is right. Four letters. Right? So, aft and stern. What, what's the port? The port side? Aft. Port and starboard, starboard are the port. two sides, okay. and then bow and stern are the front and the back. What is aft? I don't think aft is anything. The midships? Are we, were we at a midships? I don't know. I think you're just making <laughs> stuff up now. No, these are like it's very important scientific nautical terms. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know which is which. I, I you didn't even know about. bow and stern. <laughs> Let's go amidships, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Here, we'll go up to this neat little thing here. What is it? It's called a gazebo. It's a modern cruise ship. Yeah. What? I see a little bottle cap. I'll be right back. Is that another right. one? I don't think you can get through here, honey. Let me, I'll just get it for you here. Brendan and his bottle right caps, yeah. Um, so how many do you have now? Three in my backpack. Three bottle caps. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Yeah, so when I was in London about 15 years ago, these were everywhere. I'm sure they're probably nowhere to be seen now with all the cell phones. But back in the late 90s, they were everywhere. What did you find? A ladybug. Oh, look, a ladybug. Brendan would find a teeny little ladybug in the middle of a freaking ocean liner. <laughs> it's the uh, ladybug whisperer, I guess. I don't want them to drop. Hey, don't drop it. It might fly away, though. 
They do like you. Yeah, I want to crawl it away. Oh, there it goes. Bye, ladybug. I'm getting a squash pit. I have a, an assortment of squash pit. Is that what they're called? Oh, collectible pennies. I call them squash pennies. Oh, collectible, yeah. Yeah, they're collectible pennies. I don't know. Let's not have it sound silly or anything. Okay. Normally, you're supposed to put like 50 cents and a penny in and it squashes it. This one seems to only have a slot for a dollar and you don't put your own penny. Maybe they give you, give you a penny. Oh, yeah. You find your engraving that you want. Right. Okay. I'm going to put the dollar in. Your right. dollar. Okay, now turn it. You want to help Daddy turn it? You can turn it. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Show it, to, show it to Mama. So there's an image of the Queen Mary on the flattened penny. So Kevin loves these things. I do. <laughs> I'm going to get one for Brendan too. This is literally a hundred times Marco. Yeah, oh yeah. What's that? That's your squash Yay, penny. Squash penny. Now one, Daddy has one and you have one. I think squash pennies are kind of interesting because you can get them from all over and they don't take up very much space. You just stick them in a jar. And I have, for me, the most interesting ones are from the really out of the way places. Like I have one from like Lake Okeechobee in Florida for some truck stop, <laughs> rest stop or something like that, which is super interesting because I think things that you are so far out of the way you never go back to and you never go to intentionally. <laughs> You just happen to stop at. Those are the most interesting ones. But. And you have the memento forever. Right. And it doesn't take up much space because they're so tiny and they're a little squash penny. And now I get them for Brendan wherever we go. So now he has his own collection. What is it? A moth. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's mine. I'm trying to put it here. Krista just called that. A ship. Oh, Krista just awesome. called that a ship window. But I know it's a porthole. Well, because I thought we're in the in the gift shop, so it feels very modern. So I was surprised. So who's not up on their nautical terms <laughs> now? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's like a reminder you're actually on a ship when you see the window like this some, uh... instead of a regular window. This is the promenade area. There's lots of stores and things here. It's pretty nice. It definitely fits the time period. In the gift shop they have like pickup sticks and slinkies and stuff, really old school toys, which is kind of funny. We're headed home now. Brendan's tired. So I'm taking a nap in the car. Explored a little of the ship, we may come back. Now we're out of here. Jeez. Are you gonna no. put that in? I shouldn't, <laughs> I sound totally lame. But before we go, look, a torpedo. For those of you who've never, who've always wanted to see a torpedo. There you go. Your dreams have been fulfilled. <laughs> <laughs>